I don't know what it's gonna be for you guys, but for me, it's the accent. What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I have a huge giant mega Costco haul all for back to school. I spent roughly about $600. That's way over what I normally spend. I usually spend around four but I knew it was going to be a tad bit elevated especially since we just got back from vacation and we weren't home for almost three weeks so the refrigerator was depleted anyways and like I said we needed to stock up for our back to school. So my my price was definitely a large one but I have that all to share with you guys today some non food items some extra bonus things so I have quite the haul so stay tuned for that because I have the meal plan to share with you but I did want to say that this video is in collab with Kat over at Mama Cat. She started watching me and we started commenting back and forth in the comments and then I started watching her and you guys, I just love her. She has two kids. She does tons of foodie content on her channel. She does grocery hauls and meal preps and what's for dinners. Sometimes she'll throw in like a, what I got my kids for Easter. She has some links to get you to some cleaning videos of hers, but for the most part, she's pretty much a foodie. But what I love about Kat is her accent. I'm I'm a sucker for an Australian accent because she lives in Australia and I love watching her grocery hauls and seeing how they do things differently. I love watching that from people from out of the country. So I have a lot of fun watching her and she has a grocery haul for you guys today. So I'll make sure to link all of her information in the description box below. Go over, show her some love and make sure you leave that unicorn emoji so she knows that I sent you guys but I know that you will love her. It's been a long time since I've collabed you guys because I only bring you the ones that I know you're going to love so go and check her out and then let's announce last week's winner for our grocery giveaway and listen this is proof right now that you need to comment every single week because this is a repeat winner and this is only a repeat winner because I didn't even have to do a randomizer Alma Trumbull was the only one to guess what Daryl chose and that was the diced peaches. So this is not favoritism you guys, this is just how it works. Daryl wanted some peaches in like the cups, the little fruit cup, the diced peaches to take to work. He says he doesn't really have time to like sit and eat a peach, but he would have time to like eat a cup of peaches really, really quick. So, and the kids love them too, so it worked out perfect. I got two, one for him, one for them, and boom, there we go. So that was this week's winner. So Alma, write me, you know the drill, and I'll go ahead and send you a gift card just like I did last time. But you guys, comment down below. So if you are new and you're coming from Kat's channel, I do a grocery haul giveaway every single week. You guys watch the video and at the end you comment and you pick what you think my husband's mystery item is. And then I'll give away a gift card the following week to the winner. So place your guesses down below. Otherwise, you guys no more chatting in this intro we have a lot to go over so let me take you down to the counter and I'll share with you what I got at Costco this time for $600 and then we'll get into this week's meal plan all right you guys I have to stand all the way back here to give you your quick overview of what I spent $603 on in Costco this time I was a little surprised that it was as high my goal was 500 but I did get as usual a bunch of non-food items and then I stocked up on some extra stuff because of back to school so I'll start as usual with my non-food here at the bottom so I can pull it away and step to the counter and share with you the food portion so I did go ahead and get myself another salad spinner sadly mine finally broke like the little top just no longer would go down so I needed a new one and they had one on sale I'm hopping the prices up on the screen for you guys but I thought this was a pretty good deal. I love all of the OXO brand things. And so I went ahead and got myself a new salad spinner. I also treated myself to the Revlon Titanium Max Edition One Step Volumizer. So it's just essentially a hair dryer inside of a brush. 
I bought my mom one for Christmas a couple of years ago because I thought it would be easier for her since she doesn't have all the use of her left side of her body since her stroke. She can't really use a brush and a hair dryer to do her hair. So I thought having the one that was kind of all in one would really help her out and she loved it. And now that my hair is short, it's amazing what my hairdresser was able to do with a blow dryer and a diffuser and a brush. Like she accomplished for my hair what it takes me a flat iron to do and I still don't do it as well as she did. So I think it's gonna be a lot healthier for my hair. Again, I used my mom's and I really liked it. It wasn't the same thing, but this was on sale for 45 bucks, I think. So I went ahead and grabbed it so I can give that a try. I grabbed some of the Kleenex Ultra Soft Tissues. There's 12 cube boxes in here. I know that sometimes teachers need extra, extra tissues and things like that during the school year and we need tissues also. So I just went ahead and got the big box so that I can share. I did get the melatonin. This is the Natural Melatonin. This is my favorite brand. And I was happy to see the big container at Costco because it was roughly around the same price as the smaller container at Walmart so I did go ahead and grab that and then I got the Nylabone Power Chew Variety Pack there's three different kinds in here so there's one of the dental which has like ridges and nubs and helps clean their teeth and the chicken flavor and then this one in the middle looks like a wishbone and it's a bison flavor and then this one is like a bully stick and it's braided and it says it's bully stick flavor so that was on sale and i went ahead and grabbed that i did get myself some more of the food saver bags i don't need them i feel like i got them fairly recently but they were on sale for ten dollars off obviously they're not going to go bad and i use them all the time so now i probably won't need food saver bags for like a year and a half or so so maybe i'll catch them on sale again and i'll just be able to keep stocking up at a cheaper price since i have an abundance now to last me Speaking of an abundance, I did grab another big pack of the Ziploc. This is the variety box. I had been buying just gallon, just quart, just sandwich, just snack, but I don't think I saw a just snack and I thought it would be nice to just have a refresh of one of each item for back to school and then I'll be able to inventory what I need the next time I go as far as like just getting a set of just that size. I did go ahead and grab the Morton Clean Protect in the water softener pellets. It's a 44 pound bag and I get two of them and each bag lasts me roughly about a month so I usually just pick up two every time that I go and I'm always well stocked and I'll never run out. I always mention to you guys that if you're interested in a water softener, the company that installed mine is Countrywide and they were so amazing and I'm still grateful for the purchase and all the free items that I got for signing up with them. So if you're ever interested in a water softener, just send me an email and I'll send you all of their contact information. All right, this I picked up, I don't know why, just kind of gravitated towards it. It looks really pretty and I'm gonna try and do something that I plan to do some with something else. So in a vlog, I share with you guys me like spray painting this big old milk jug that I have. And I was gonna put it in the front of my yard and I like drilled holes in it and I bought dirt and rocks and everything and I was gonna put my hydrangea plant in it. But where that is at my front porch, it just gets so much dump over of rain that I think I would drown that hydrangea. And I don't really think anything is gonna grow well there. So I think I'm gonna put it at the top of my stairs where the landing kind of curves around and fill it with like these birch branches and like cotton stems and stuff. And these ones light up. So you can see down there that it's a pack of two and each one lights up by battery. So I think I'll just get like rechargeable batteries and stuff and just throw those in there. I thought those would look really nice. I have a lot of those candles that come on at dusk all over the house and I just like the ambiance at night of all those like little lighted features all over and I thought that would look nice on the landing. So we'll see for 15 bucks, I felt like it was worth a try. If not, there's a ton of places I can put it or just use it for the holidays to decorate or something like I'll definitely get use out of it. All right, I did get these a thing of flowers. I don't usually get flowers from Costco and stuff. I usually get them more from say like Trader Joe's or something, 
but on Meet the Teacher Night, the teachers gave a little list of things that they really love. And Mason's teacher said that her favorite flower was a sunflower. And Maya said her favorite flower was a lily. So I'm gonna pull the sunflower and the lilies out of these flowers. I'll keep the rest, but I'm gonna have the kids bring like a little thing to the teachers. I like came up with something, maybe writing to them like, how do you get through the first day of school? A little dose of teacher fuel. And I'm gonna send a cup with the one teacher loves peanut butter M&Ms. She loves Chick-fil-A and she loves sunflowers. So I'm gonna put the sunflower in a cup with a little, like maybe just a small gift card to Chick-fil-A and the peanut butter M&Ms and have um, Mason bring that to his teacher. And then Maya can put the lily in a cup and her teacher said that her favorite thing was popcorn. So you'll see up here that I got some popcorn for her and she loves iced coffee so we'll go get her a gift card to dunkin donuts and just give them like a little bit of something like five dollars nothing crazy it's the first day of school but just a little something to let them know that you know it's been a long couple of years and we appreciate them so i'll make use of the rest but i got those for the teachers and then i found some gatorade which made me excited because i know the kids are going to want something like a gatorade maybe as they come home or something as something refreshing and i'm not gonna lie most of the time the gatorade is for me because it's my all-time favorite thing to drink sorry not sorry it's mom's guilty pleasure so i got these and there's 28 in there 10 of the blue cherry ten, uh, 8 of the fruit punch and berry and then 10 of the glacier free so all those sound good and then i did get the kids the little tiny eight ounce water bottles I got them some really nice reusable water bottles on Amazon. I'm gonna do like a opening all of the mail that I got and all the packages and stuff that I bought while I was gone. I'm gonna film that video that you guys will see later on this week of everything that I got. So I'll share with you the water bottles, plus you'll see them in the lunch video, but they have refill stations for the water bottles, but the reason why I have a water softener is because the water in this area is gross. So I don't know if the kids are gonna wanna refill their water bottles at the refill stations. So I figured if I got the little tiny ones, I can freeze these and by the time they finish their larger water bottle, then these will be defrosted for them to have another refreshing drink because my kids drink all the time and right now it's 9,000 degrees. So after they go out for recess and things like that they're gonna want something refreshing and so I thought maybe the smaller water bottles in addition to the reusable one would be a good fit all right we are done with that and we're gonna move on up and hopefully I um, can get close enough with all the stuff that's right here so I got our Annie's variety pack of the mac and cheese I pick this up every single time it has four of the shells and real aged cheddar four of the shells and white cheddar, and then four of the regular mac and cheese, which is like regular craft. And we just love our Annie's, they're organic. I've been using this for probably since Jake's two, and we've never had any other mac and cheese. And now when my kids eat the other kind, they don't like it. So I've kind of spoiled everybody in the house with the Annie's products. And again, sorry, not sorry. All right, this is not for me. Of course, if I bring my buddy with me, there usually is some kind of snack attached to his name. So Paul saw this and he had to put it in the cart. I thought it was pretty funny because there was tons of people inside of Costco. So we kind of got stuck in a traffic jam. And if we didn't get stuck right there, we probably wouldn't have seen these things on the end cap. But he couldn't take it. He went ahead and put these in the cart. I almost bought these little jars. It was like maybe eight jars, but it was 16 bucks. So I felt like that was a lot of money, but it was like eight jars, like baby food jars. And it was layered with birthday cake, like birthday cake, then frosting, birthday cake, then frosting. And, I th and it was supposed to be, you know, for like a sweet treat on the go. I don't know if my kids should really have the glass jars. And I felt like you were paying for the glass jars. So I didn't get them, but 
I almost put them in the cart as like a specialty treat, but I feel like I can make it for a heck of a lot cheaper, but it was just cute in like all the things that were on that end cap. But he ended up with the, oh geez, I didn't even tell you what it is, with the Delci Belgian chocolate mousse. So it's chocolate mousse with cream and cookie crumbles. So you can kind of see here that the cookie crumbles are on the bottom and then there's a mousse and then like a little whipped topping up top so i'm sure he's going to enjoy those he definitely has himself a sweet tooth this was on sale for incredibly cheap like four dollars or something and i love the honey bunches of oats with almonds and so does maya there's two bags inside so i went ahead and grabbed that there is that skinny pop popcorn that i was talking about there's 28 bags in there and they're organic non-gmo gluten-free like everything and anything that it could be dairy-free nut-free so it's perfect to bring as a snack for school my kids will love popcorn i'll throw some of that you know two bags and that teacher's little bin thing for her on the first day of school and then the kids can just use the rest for lunches so i thought that was a good deal snagged that snagged the late july sea salt chips i'm just happy that costco carries them now the only place i ever used to be able to get that is bj's or online at thrive market which was like a small bag for not the best bang for your buck but it was used to be bj's and then when we moved to texas no bj's no late july chips so now that costco is carrying them i they are a must and a staple so i grabbed that and then i saw they're carrying the safe and fair food company at costco now i saw some like Instagram posts and stuff and this is the strawberry shortcake gluten-free granola ancient grains made with real strawberries it's non-gmo and vegan and I thought that would be really good with some yogurt in the morning I'm going to be eating a lot more breakfast since I'm going to be up again at 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning getting kids up and going like I'm going to eat more in the morning than I normally would so I want to grab some things for myself hence the cereal and granola we were out of olive oil and I love the Kirkland Signature Organic Extra Virgin, so I got that. All right, these are Famous Dave's Signature Spicy Pickle Chips. I've never had them before, but my brother brought them home while we were staying there and they're very much like the, oh, what are those, oh snap pickles, but now they have one called Sassy Bites that are in a pink bag and they're basically these, like a sweet and spicy, tangy kind of pickle chip. Maya loved them and Jacob loved them and I like thought they were so so good ice cold out of the fridge delicious pickles so i grabbed them for my whole family to enjoy i grabbed a big thing of the organic plums for lunches i also grabbed some raspberries for lunches and then i grabbed my two favorite tomatoes i grabbed the campari tomatoes i use these for slicing and you know sandwiches that kind of thing and then we grab the wild wonder tomatoes and these are the gourmet kind so it's the orange and the yellow and the different kinds of reds and we use those for salads and snacking so stocked up on our tomatoes and then i got a thing of the sweet peppers so i can use that for recipes and lunches I did get the chewy protein bars. There's 10 grams of protein in here and it's the peanut butter and semi-sweet chocolate chip and there's 42 in there. So the only person who's gonna eat that is Jake and it's gonna take him forever to go through it. But I thought that would be great for an in-between class snack. I mean, he's 17, he's in his senior year. He doesn't get snack time, but his periods are long. He only has five periods and one of them is lunch. So out of the four periods, they're very long. They're 90 minutes. So in between class, it's just going to be a great time to just slam something like a protein bar or something just to give him a little bit of energy to go into the next class. So I got that for Jacob and then I got the Capri Sun 100% juice. So there's 40 pouches, 20 fruit punch, 10 berry, 10 apple. I usually get the Honest Kids organic. I'm okay with the Capri Sun not being organic as long as it's 100% juice, but these were on sale for an insane price, like $6.99 or something like that and it was the very last box. So it was fate that that was coming home with me. Again, a super great deal. And then I kind of stocked up on some wine. I finished to my Oliver Moscato the night I came home from my super long crazy adventure trying to get home from Long Island's back here to Texas so I needed a refill because this wine has to be in my refrigerator at all times it's the Oliver Cherry Moscato it's a local winery from Indiana and it is the number one best wine I've ever had 
and I have a friend who I met here on YouTube who said that the Oliver comes out with like a caramel apple pie or something coming up this fall season and if I couldn't find it she'd send it to me so if you're watching me I haven't found it yet and if it's coming up please let me know because I will pay whatever I want to try it so I went and got that and then of course I picked up the Kirkland signature Prosecco you want to know what this is for mimosas on Monday when the kids are going back to school and you guys are seeing this on Tuesday so by the time you see this this bottle will be gone because it has been a long couple of years and I am absolutely in 110% toasting to my kids flying the coop and enjoying going to school and starting activities and meeting friends and I'm sure are you mamas who have been home with your kids for the last couple of years feel me so that is what that is for and then I saw this and they had a peach and a mango and I had to go with the mango so it was like a mama peach and then a mama mango so I am all about the mango so I grabbed the Moscato and mango and if it's there next time I'll grab the peach to try but anything Moscato and something fruity just sign me up. I'm golden. Uh, I got the Kirkland Signature Extra Foncy Mixed Nuts in the Cashews, Almonds, Pecans, Brazil Nuts, and Macadamia Nuts. It's like 15, 16 bucks, but it is worth every dollar. It goes for a really long time. It's two and a half pounds. And I just pick on it like throughout the day. If I'm hungry, I just grab a handful of that and I feel like it curbs my appetite. So I always love to have those on hand. And then I grabbed a whole bunch of cheese because hands down Costco has the best price on cheeses, especially if you're willing to shred your own. Both of these are under $5. So this is the Colby Jack cheese. And then these, this is the mild cheddar. And then we just go ahead and shred it and keep some on hand and freeze some and it works out perfect because it's like I said the best bang for your buck and then this is the same thing it's, these are all Kirkland signature and this is the moisture part skim mozzarella cheese but it's six pounds of cheese but for the price it seems like whoa I'm gonna spend that on cheese but it freezes so well and then if you don't have to buy it individually you save so much money by buying that block and freezing it so grabbed the mozzarella got the organic grade a 24 large eggs these are the brown ones somebody asked me like I thought you were going back to the white eggs because they were cheaper I totally still will get like the big case of white eggs if I know that I'm going to be doing something like a lot of breakfasty items and things like that for that financial gain but if I know that I just need eggs on hand I don't mind spending this and eating the egg that I feel better about buying it's not really about the flavor anymore because obviously if you guys saw that video I failed the taste test and I ate and preferred a white egg over a brown egg or thought I knew what I was talking about but quality wise I feel like this is a better egg so as long as we don't need like an abundance I'm still just going to continue to keep purchasing these so I grabbed them to add to my eggs that are already in the fridge I got the four pack of the Kirkland bacon for the price. I love it. Each package is a pound and there's four in there and I still feel like it's the best deal even stacked up against things like Walmart and stuff. I got the Hillshire Farm Naturals, a slow roasted turkey breast. There's three 11 ounce pouches in there, so we'll use that for school lunches. I was hoping they were gonna have the ham. Some of my kids prefer the ham over the turkey, but they didn't have it. And honestly, I prefer the cold cuts better from Sam's Club which will go in a couple of weeks so I just grabbed that to hold us over for now I grabbed the better than a bouillon this is the seasoned vegetable base they also had beef I was looking for chicken they didn't have it but everybody raves about this as being the best like substitute for a concentrated broth and I usually make my own broth but sometimes I just need extra so since I saw it and we were already making a big purchase I just threw it in the cart and we're gonna go ahead and give that guy a try I got some extra mayo it was on sale this is the Hellman's real mayonnaise I will not use any other mayo I am ride or die for Hellman's and we use it for sandwiches salads dressings a million different things so I feel like we go through a lot when it's on sale I love to stock up so I grabbed that 
I grabbed the six pack of the Gear Deli chocolate brownies. This is under $2 a pack for each box so i think that's great because you're never going to find the gear deli brownies for under two dollars a box and i feel like i go through a lot of these during back to school because you will see that i didn't buy a whole lot of like snacky stuff for their lunch box i try to stay away from buying a lot of like the processed chips and you know pre-packaged snacky kind of stuff if i can and then i'd rather you know, go ahead and buy a box of something and then make it. Like when I go to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna get their Rice Krispies and their marshmallows and make my kids more of a healthier based Rice Krispie treat as opposed to buying the Kellogg's. There's nothing wrong with that. If you do, that's just for me. I'm home, I have the time. So if I can make their snacks and try and have control over what's in them, then I could just prepackage them and leave them in the snack bin and I can use them to pack for lunches. So I find that the brownies are one of those things that I lean towards. So I grab that and then way down there is the two pack of the Kirkland's 2% milk, two gallons in there. So I grabbed that. And then I did grab the Danimal smoothies. So I mentioned in my last grocery haul that I tried to get like the Paw Patrol for Mason and the Princess for Maya. And I never bought Danimals before because I thought they were junky. I never realized that they started to change things up. So the Paw Patrol and the Princess ones were non-GMO. So I thought that was great. So I picked them up for the kids. But now I just saw organic ones, 18 strawberry banana and 18 strawberry. And the price was insane. So it was $11.49, I think. And I looked it up and it's $2.49 for a six pack in Walmart of the ones that are non-GMO. So I'm technically saving $3.50 and they're organic. So I just forget the Paw Patrol and the Princess. They'll have some monkeys on it. But the, at the end of the day, they just love them. So why not get them for the cheaper price? So I did grab that. And then I did grab this for yogurt for them as well. It's the Stonyfield Organic Yogurt Pouches. The Strawberry Beet Berry and the Pear Spinach Mango. Eight of each. They are, like I said, organic. And the kids just love them. And they freeze so well. So they defrost by the time the kids have snack time. And it works out just perfect. So I got that. I did grab the Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Nuggets. I love these and I think I'm gonna use them for a meal because we do that big casserole like the KFC chicken bowls, but we do it in casserole form and everybody loves it, but it takes a whole bag of chicken nuggets to do it as a dinner and we usually have leftovers and stuff but they just can't get enough of those just bare nuggets so i grabbed that sticking with the meats and dinner type things i got these pork loin top loin boneless chops look how thick these things are like it's insane how big they are and i think i'm going to do stuffed pork chops i couldn't get the stuffing that i wanted from walmart's grocery pickup last time but i'm going to try and get it the next time i go next week and then i'll go ahead and make my sausage stuffing recipe like if you guys need a great stuffing recipe i'll link it up above for you guys it's super easy and so delicious so i'll make the sausage stuffing and then i butterfly these open and i stuff them with the stuffing and then you seal them closed with toothpicks and bake them in the oven like with breading and stuff on top and then they come out super juicy with this yummy stuffing on the inside it's probably been a decade since I've made that so I'm kind of craving it I thought it sounded really good so I grabbed that and then I also got this beef top round steak it's two huge pieces so I'm going to use one like a roast and then I'm going to use one that I cut down and make steaks out of so I can get two meals out of the 30 bucks that that costs and I'll probably get mm, I actually I will get two meals out of this because I don't know if the kids will eat the stuffed ones and I have some smaller portion pork chops in the meat freezer that I use to cut up to make pork fried rice so I can pull that for the little kids and then just nobody's going to eat more than one of these big stuff shops. So I should be able to get two meals out of this and then steak and a roast out of this. So that's good when you can, 
you know, get two full meals out of it. And then I got these, which I absolutely love. These are the young chickens. So I love the size of them. They are perfect for my rotisserie. I have a Kasori air fryer that also serves as a rotisserie. So I love when I can get these smaller chickens because they work out perfect for meal prep. If I need a dinner idea, this roasts really well in the oven as well, served with, you know, mashed potatoes, stuffing, anything like that. Or I'll put it in the rotisserie and use it as meal prep and pull it for the top of salads, pull it for quesadillas, pull it for chicken salad. Like there's so many different options and it's like homemade rotisserie chicken that I make right here at home. So I grabbed that. I thought those were a great deal. I got the three pack of the organic cucumbers. This is $6. I kind of feel like it's a lot, two bucks for each one, but these long organic English cucumbers are so good and the kids prefer them over the regular ones. So I grabbed those. I grabbed a three pound uh, bunch of organic bananas. They had the creamy dill pickle chopped kit salad. So maybe it's just finally come to my store and we're going to have it all the time. But when I showed Maya, I said, Maya, look, I found the dill pickle salad again. She went <laughs> and made like this delicious, like saliva sucking sound. She was so excited. And she said, wait, that says two of them. I said, yeah, it's a two pack. And she just, her face glowed. So. I know that her and I are definitely a fan of this Taylor Farms creamy dill pickle chop salad kit, so I'm glad I was able to find it. Again, it's green and red cabbage, cauliflower, green leaf lettuce, kale, dill pickle brioche croutons, which are amazing, feta, and then a dill pickle seasoning. That seasoning is so good. It's almost like the pickle seasoning you put on the popcorn, and then a dill pickle ranch dressing. All of it together is just, it's so delicious. So scoop yourself up one of those if you like pickles i did get the limited edition galactic lucky charms i really just didn't want to get this but they did not have a lot of comparable options for cereal like when i go to trader joe's i can get a little bit more of the organic cereal into my little kids they're not as picky as jacob but jacob is so 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 picky so i know maya will eat those honey bunches of oats with me but that's it and at least i know that mason will eat the lucky charms with jake and like i said it's the galactic edition and it's a two-pack box so i grabbed that and then i did get the cliff kids z bar the organic ones 12 chocolate chip a 12 iced oatmeal cookie and 12 chocolate brownie i thought that would be great for the kids snack time at school they have like a lunch time and then a separate snack time I think lunch for Maya is 10 between 10 and 10 30 and then lunch for Mason is between 10 30 and 11 but they don't get out of school till 2 55 so they both of the their classes do a late snack so I thought something like this would be good and filling to hold them over till they get home and then last but not least I got Maya her Nestle pack so last week I got Mason his cones and Maya said to me, so what, we only buy ice cream for Mason now and I couldn't get ice cream sandwiches? Little snippy girl. So I got her her ice cream sandwiches and the best deal was these because it comes out to 35 cents a piece. I mean, it cost me, I think $16 at the ice cream man to get each one of my kids ice cream. So over $5 a piece at the ice cream man and this is 35 cents so it's just silly to not do it and it is how many of those 12 of the ice cream sandwiches 16 drumsticks and then 12 of the cookie dipped coated bars which are really good it's like almost oreo cookies inside of the chocolate on the outside of the bar which is really really yummy but all right you guys that was it six hundred and three dollars i say that was it as if it you know only took 10 minutes to go through all this and it was just a few items no it was a heck of a lot and i am out of breath but we are going to now go over this week's meal plan all right you guys here we are at the meal plan for monday the 16th of august through Sunday the 22nd. So yesterday was the first day of school, you guys, and it was such a crazy day. Our district was in shambles. Everything was so late and behind, so I'm so glad I planned like a super easy meal. I did hot dogs and sausages on the grill. I made potato salad and corn on the cob. It was like super simple, perfect for a crazy day, and I got to use my sabret onions. The
that I bought when I was in New York and use it on my hot dog. Not quite a sabret, but it was really, really good. For tonight, we're gonna do some steak quesadillas. I had some leftover steak in the freezer prior to this grocery haul, so I wanna use that up before I replenished the freezer with a steak. So I put some steak quesadillas on the menu. It is a Taco Tuesday, of course. So we do something Tex-Mex, so we're gonna do steak take quesadillas, and then I have like nacho chips and stuff on the side. On a Wednesday, we're going to do tomorrow, we're going to do buttermilk fried chicken. So I usually don't do something like this, but Walmart only had like the bigger container of buttermilk and I wanted the smaller container to make ranch dressing. But now we have all this leftover buttermilk. That's part of the reason why I'm going to do like a casserole for breakfast the following day because I really want to use this buttermilk up the best that I can. And one of the ways that I want to do it is with this buttermilk chicken. So you just soak pieces of chicken cutlet in some buttermilk and and then you roll it in a seasoned flour and then fry it and it makes like a really nice chicken. We'll do like a chicken sandwich with mac and cheese and that pickle salad. It'll be a really, really yummy meal. And that's perfect because Mason has karate, so it's quick and easy. And then for Thursday, like I said, we're going to do breakfast. So I'm gonna use whatever buttermilk residual that I have to make a bacon, egg, and cheese bunt bread. So I'm gonna use the buttermilk for that bread portion portion of it and you make this casserole right in a bunt pan. It sounds really good and I might even film it for you guys so you can see it in a future video plus my freezer is full. If you guys just saw my back to school breakfast I have so many oh an extra sticker. I have so many breakfast items. That was like a squirrel moment. I'm sorry. Uh, I have breakfast items for like for days and days and days and days. And my kids have really not been hungry so much these past few days in the morning. Maybe that will change once school gets into effect. But for now, they have really not been hungry. So I don't really know how much of this breakfast we will go through. So that'll make an easy dinner for me on Thursday, pulling most from the freezer and then just a quick bunt in the oven so and not my oven this one so that works out perfect on friday we're gonna do a garlic and oil pasta with some ground sausage last time i made that everybody really really loved it i put broccoli in mine because i love that with broccoli maya likes it with broccoli and so does jacob but the other boys do not so i'll usually just do half and half and mix some in but we'll throw broccoli in there and we'll do a regular salad not everyone likes the pickle so i'll treat you know, I'll do like a Caesar or a basic salad on Friday. So those who don't like the pickle can still indulge in some kind of salad. And then on Saturday, we're going to do a cheeseburger casserole with some homemade fries on the side. This is a keto casserole. It's so, so good. I know keto casserole and then French fries. But who's to say I have to eat the French fries, right? But my kids can... Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm totally going to have a couple of French fries, but at least the casserole will be low carb, right? And then we're doing French onion chicken on Sunday. This is another house favorite and I have a cooking video for this. I think I have a cooking video for this too. I might be able to link them all, but the French onion chicken is fantastic and it's super easy. It's like pretty much all in one skillet kind of thing. You stick it in the oven and you melt the cheese on top like a real French onion soup, but it's on a chicken. It's so, so good and it's perfect over mashed potatoes. And then we didn't finish all of the corn on the cob last night. So I already shredded it all off the cob and put it in a bag. And now I'll either make some kind of cream corn or we'll just do the roasted corn that I already peeled off on the side with our mash and chicken but that is it you guys for this times a grocery haul and a meal plan I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you go over and show Kat some love again I know she will super appreciate it and you guys will love her subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys